Yo what's up guys welcome to coding bot in this video i'm going to show you how to generate ssh key and add it for your gitlab account then how to establish this secure connection by using ssh protocol between your computer and your gitlab account let's start gitlab uses the ssh protocol to securely communicate with git when you use ssh key to authenticate to the GitLab remote server, you don't need to supply your username and password again and again. And by providing the SSH key, it is a requirement. By providing the SSH key, it is uh, giving us the permission to take pull request and take the push request from your GitLab repositories. Let's see how to do it. Right, now I'm in my home page of my GitLab account. You have to go to your GitLab account. Then here is your profile icon. Click on that and go to preferences in preferences go to ssh keys here we have to add our ssh key now i'm going to open to my open my command prompt in here we have to give a command we have to give this command ssh hyphen keygen space hyphen t space rsa i'm going to copy this and paste this here I will put the command on my video description. Check the description down below. SSH hyphen keygen space hyphen T space RSA. Just press enter. It says generating public private RSA key pair. Enter file in which to save the key. This is the directory which is uh, where our SSH key going to save. Enter. Create a directory. Enter pass press mt4 no pass press i'm going to enter we can give whatever the string we need and just press enter it's asking same pass press again right your public key has been saved in this directory we have to copy this directory to take away ssh key right let's go to our file explorer and paste the directory in here it says the directory is users del ssh let's go um, along the path users del ssh and it says this is the um, place where our ssh key has saved idrsa path. let's open this one using notepad this is our ssh key we have to copy this one and we have to go to our GitLab environment and paste the SSH key here. Remove this SSH RSA part. Now we can click on add key. Yes, add it. It says key is invalid. I think we need to um, copy the full string including that SSH part. Let's select all and paste it there this SSH RSA part. Just add again. You can see our SSH key adding procedure is success. Anyway, you can delete that. It will expire uh, on this given date. It says uh, 2023 on September 19th. It will expire. I think you uh, got the idea how to generate this SSH key and how to configure that one. Please uh, share this video to your batchmates and put a thumbs up if you learned something through this video. Make sure to subscribe for Coding Bot and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future. I will meet you soon in the next video. Bye guys.